Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day or at least a good day. I know things are kind of crazy in the world right now and everything's so uncertain. So I just hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you're staying safe out here. Today we're going to be talking about what happens to my little gargoyle gecko mango and where he is now. So as many of you know, I have one gargoyle gecko that I named Mango. I got him from Petco, I believe, two years ago. And in his first year of growth, he was having a hard time. He was growing pretty slow, you know, he was pretty small. And it's hard to say why this was. Was it because of something I was doing, which is most likely the case? Or is it the fact that he is a gargoyle gecko from Petco? You know, there's just a lot of unknowns here, but um, I believe it was something I was doing. So I was trying to change it up and see if I could get him to grow faster you know, into the big, strong gargoyle gecko he should be, or she should be, I don't even know yet, to be honest. I'm thinking it's a female, but anyway, uh, he was growing extremely slow. So, you know, I talked about some of the things I was doing, some of the things I might change in that video, which was in July of 2019, and he was 8 or 9 grams at that time, and I said I was going to try some stuff, and what I had been doing, and I'd get back to you guys. Well, it's been eight months. I figured I'd give you guys an update on him and how he's been doing over these last couple months. And I can say that I am really impressed with how he's grown in these last couple months. So in July, he was like roughly eight to 10 grams, right? Well, now he is pushing 35 grams, which would mean he's almost three to four times larger than he was eight months ago, which is quite the growth spurt, if I do say so myself. I don't think I've ever seen a gecko grow that much in such a short period of time. You know, some geckos, just once they get eating, they're just gonna go for it. So the first thing I started by was changing up his food a little bit. For some reason, I have it in my head that when he was younger, he didn't like the crickets as much. Maybe that's not true, but I feel for some reason he didn't really go for them. But once I got him to start eating crickets, I think that's when I noticed the first big difference in his growth and he really started to take off. But as we got further into the year, you know, September, October, November, it started getting colder here, right? Well, I didn't realize that until a couple months back, like I mentioned in the video. And so I started closing all the doors in the gecko room, which made it obviously warmer in here. And I think that is the other big change that really helped him pick up his growth too. Now that he was getting the bugs and he really liked to eat the bugs, it was also warmer in the gecko room. You know, even just a couple degrees, I feel like I noticed a change in all my geckos. Just they're all more active, obviously, and, you know, they're all eating more and growing faster, especially the baby geckos, which could be expected. You know, obviously, if it's warmer, they're going to be more active. But anyway, I think these were the two big things that really influenced his growth in these last couple months. And he's a beautiful gecko, even though he's from Petco. You know, I love him. And I got to say, honestly, watching him grow up from a little baby to... Uh, you know, his sub-adult form right now has probably been one of the most enjoyable experiences in recent times. You know, I love watching little geckos grow into big geckos. Gargoyle geckos, or at least the one I have in my experience, he didn't change too much. But my crested geckos, on the other hand, they change quite a lot from when they go from hatchling, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, to adulthood. They grow a lot. They change a lot. I think it's really cool how they all change, too. Some get darker, some get lighter. The patterns change and all that so i think growing up little geckos is really cute but anyway that's off the subject mango is doing well he's always eating a lot now he loves watermelon pangea for some reason you know the other flavors he'll just lick a little bit of it and leave it there but watermelon he always seems to like i'm not sure why that is maybe he just prefers it but usually what i do here is is i cycle through certain flavors so like a couple months back it was like fig with insects or you know growth and breeding formula and all that but once he gets to watermelon time, it's always good for him because he really likes it. But I try not to feed him that all the time just because I don't want him to get like, I don't want to say addicted, but like I don't want him to expect watermelon every night. So, you know, that's that. It's not like he's starving or anything. He just really likes the watermelon Pangea. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my last update video on Little Mango. He'll probably see him in some other videos because he's really calm. He likes to take pictures, and he seems to be really good at it, too. If you go on my Instagram, which is always down below in the description, he seems really photogenic for some reason. All of his pictures always turn out great. Hopefully, next time I talk to you, things have gotten a little bit better in the world, and everything is not so uncertain. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.